Derek Klebos is a medical student on a limited budget. And staying within that budget is difficult, he says, because of rising food prices. They're skyrocketing these days, so you know, to cut down, I need to be, I need to be buying stuff that I can cook a lot of for cheap. But finding cheap food in the future may be an even bigger challenge. America's summer drought increased the price of corn, normally a low-cost commodity, to its highest levels ever. As one of the country's biggest cash crops, it's typically inexpensive to grow, which is why corn is the one ingredient that's in almost every food we eat. Corn and corn byproducts fill the foods that most Americans consume every day. They have names like aspartame, sorbic acid, and glucosamine, and more than 100 other ingredients that are hidden inside the packaged foods that line the shelves of most grocery stores. But it's not just packaged foods that are made from corn. Basics like milk, meat, and eggs will also see their prices rise because of the drought. It's because corn is the number one ingredient in animal feed critical for producing those food products. Food processors like it because it allows them to keep production costs low and profits high. That makes corn-based ingredients a fast food favorite, often in the form of high fructose corn syrup, used to sweeten everything from a hamburger patty bun to soft drinks. And that means the price of fast food could also increase within a year. But the clock has already started for when we can start to see these, these high corn prices and high soy prices affect retail prices. So within about two to three months, we would, we start, we're expecting to start to see higher prices for a lot of animal-based products. Another 10 to 12 months after that, we expect to see the full effect of this drought work its way through the supermarket. And because the United States is a major exporter of food and the number one exporter of corn, those prices will rise, not just in the United States, but around the world. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.